Hello and welcome to my next video. Today we're going to be talking about how to make money with 3D printing in car parts and accessories. Let me explain. So perhaps you've seen this in the news. I'm going to click here and maybe you've seen a 3D printed Bugatti or maybe a Lamborghini. <clears throat> the thing is you can 3D print cars and I'm not talking about the engine you a lot of the parts here can be 3d printed now mind you you're not going to be able to use the stuff you find in a regular printer and you're obviously not going to be putting um, this stuff inside an engine but you're going to find you're going to be able to make a lot of parts for your car with you know by 3d printing them so it's pretty exciting maybe even this one so <clears throat> let's talk about this so here are some cars now obviously this is a super amazing car but the thing is it is not the kind of plastic you use inside of your regular at home desktop 3d printer no they use different filaments so you got to be aware of that this car is supposed to be you know 3d printed of course we're talking about the outside maybe some parts on the inside too but inside the the cabin not necessarily you know where the engine is formula one racing that's kind of important but again they're not going to be using regular filament and um from what i read in this article they used a combination of carbon fiber and titanium i believe for this car because it was lightweight and strong and that's what they needed pretty cool stuff there now most people when they start getting into this they want to create stuff like you know a cup holder or maybe something to put a a, a phone a storage uh, maybe some switches for i don't know whatever you want to turn on in there custom cool looking holders yeah there's a bunch of things that you can you know you can design but these are kind of like extra ac accessories that you can technically go buy anywhere else, right? I mean, you can go buy this. It's not an issue. But that's not exactly what we're looking for. Let me, let me tell you specifically what I'm talking about is... Let me give you an example. This right here is part of inside or under the hood and it's not designed with PLA in fact if you look here it says PACF now there are some PLA there are some uh, filaments that can withstand high temperatures and some people have used these to put everywhere in their car however here's the situation a lot of people get into this because imagine a car manufacturer, let's call them uh, company A, makes a car back in the 60s. And they're like, hey, look at all these parts we need or we, we designed just for that car in the 60s. Well, it's been a long time. It's been over 50 years since they made this car. So they're not making these parts anymore because they've improved them. They, they, they make parts for new cars. They don't use the same materials. So let's say you love this car and there's a group of people that love this particular car, but they can't find any of the parts. Well, here you come in with a 3D printer and knowledge of design and software, and you can make these and sell them, or you could even modify them to their specific needs, right? So the thing is, there are a lot of manufacturers that stopped making uh, the parts for their classic cars. Not only that, they didn't license any of these parts to other people, so nobody can actually start manufacturing them. So if you can find a way to design them and somebody needs it, I think you can find a way to make a business out of that. However, you need to be aware of certain things. Besides the laws with, uh, you know, 
who can and cannot be making these parts. That's definitely something you should consider. You should also consider the materials. This is something that I saw on Reddit. It says why you should not use PLA in hot environments like your car. See, PLA will not completely melt like an ice cream in your, in your car. What it, it will do is it'll warp. It'll lose its strength and just start to, you know, bend a little. Gravity will take over. So you need to be aware of the different filaments and what it can do. And of course, you're going to need a printer that can handle these high temperatures. So I'm going to include um, this article right here, how to print, how to 3D print replacement car parts. In the description, you can look at it. You can find out all the things that you need to know to be part of this particular um, business. If this is something you want to try, of course, the different types of filaments you'd like to use. So there's that, right? But in all of these things, even let's say you don't, you, uh, you're like, Hey, I don't know how to design, design any of this. So I'll just get a scanner. But even if you use a scanner, you're still going to need to learn software for 3d printing, right? So, so far there's no escaping learning the software. So you, if you're interested, you might want to just pick one, do some research, of course, and figure out which is the best software for what you want to do. And again, if someone's saying, Hey, uh, I'd like to print a part for this car. You're going to have to decide how much you're going to charge for this. Now, if somebody can afford a Bugatti, you might want to be chain or charging them appropriately. Maybe even, you know, a Lamborghini that people have put together and say, Hey, I know someone for a pretty penny. They'll make you that part and you can be that person. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you got a lot out of it. Don't forget to like, and subscribe and have a great day.